In this video tutorial, I'm going to share with you how I made over 400% return on a single trade using a single indicator on TradingView and trading features on my Binance app. All right. And everything I'm going to do here, I'm going to do all of that using the mobile app. Okay. Whether I'm opening Binance or TradingView, everything will be on the app so that you'll be able to follow up and you will not have any excuse to say oh it's because you don't have a laptop or a desktop that is why you cannot participate this is for everybody and it is even for beginners if you are even if you are new into crypto all you need is this video guide and you should be able to follow the trend and then make some profit for yourself as well all right so with that being said, if you are new to the channel, you love videos about crypto trading and investing, then consider subscribing, hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published on this channel. All right. So as I said earlier, everything I'm going to do here will be on the mobile app. So it means that even if you're on the go, you can actually implement these strategies and then equally get good result out of it. Okay. So with that being said let's jump right into it all right so to get started you need a trading view account okay you need a free account with trading view because we are not going to use more than three indicators so the free account will do okay you need um a trading view account and then you need an account with an exchange i'm doing this with binance and you will equally see links to the trading view and then binance in the video description to sign up for an account if you don't have one already okay so once you get your account set up okay once you get your account set up the first thing you want to do for the app all right once you download the app for the trading view is to come in here to watch list all right when you come to watch list you have a whole lot of um you know pairs here currency pairs and the rest for stock for forex and so on okay I'm going to leave a link in the video description that shows you how to use the trading view on the app. You need to see that video in case you don't know because this one is just a trading strategy I'm going to share with you. Okay, so once you add up your pairs on your watch list, then we can go ahead and do this. The trading strategy can be implemented on any um, currency pair. Okay, but we are doing this with Bitcoin. All right, so what we need is just one single indicator. And that indicator to add up the indicator you need to come in here okay once you are on the watch list either you click on btc usdt okay the next thing you need to do is to click on this plus icon to add an indicator so if i click on it this pops up and you see where it says indicators go ahead and click on it so once you click on indicators the thing here is to type in here though what you are seeing here is because i have them on my favorite that's why it is here but yours is going to be empty this is the indicator we are going to use but if you don't see it here just go ahead and type on the search bar here optimize trend tracker okay so optimize trend tracker is the indicator okay by this person all right so you can favorite it so that next time you don't need to search for it once you are okay with it go ahead and click on it and that will be added to our chart all right so it has been added all you need to do is to click here to close the indicator um, panel all right so you see that the indicator has been added to our chart the next thing we need to do is to do some settings okay um to adjust some settings on this indicator so here is the indicator all i need to do is to click on it once i click on the name you see the setting icon pops up so you go ahead and click on the setting icon so once you click on the setting icon you want to change this ott period okay from the default which is two changes to seven all right so i'll go ahead and change that to seven all right leave this other one as it is and then you, when you come in here the next thing you want to do is to make sure that you check this on okay by default it is not checked so make sure you check that and then we'll change this from this var to wam okay so we'll check this first after checking that check change the moving average type from this va arrow okay to this one which is the wam all right so once you do that you go ahead and click on okay that is all we need to do with this indicator now what i want you to pay attention to is that on the indicator you see buy and sell signals there are a whole lot of buy and sell signals here okay all these signals are a lot of them are false signals okay 
some of these signals if you follow them you, it will get you into trouble but the signals we want to pay attention to whether it is a buy or a sell signal is the one that have the blue line okay crossing over the purple line all right so on this particular candle here we got a buy signal okay and that buy signal you see that the blue line actually crosses over the purple um the blue line crosses over the purple line all right these are the only signals you will take the same thing happens if you are going to short a market okay for a sell signal so for sell signals okay the opposite is what you do the blue line must be crossing downward okay on um, the purple line all right so you can see that we got this sell signal here and then the blue line crosses over so you can enter in the next candle all right and then if you have followed this trend okay you'll see that this would have been you know a huge profit for you all right so as we continue to look at this the only signals you definitely you get a lot of buy and sell signals okay but you don't take them the only signals you take is the one where you have the blue line crossing over the purple line okay if it is a sell signal then the blue line of the crossing the purple signal facing downward all right that is the simple way of using this indicator this is the same thing i've been using this is one of my scalping strategies that i've been using and this has given me over 400 percent return on a single trade okay so this works on all time frames okay for those of you who want to go into swing trading swing trading is when you open a trade okay and it takes days before it goes into profit that is swing trading but for day traders you want to scalp the market then you need to change your time frame okay from a higher time frame to um five minutes or 15 minutes okay so if you want to scalp the market to show you that this works on all time frame i'll just go ahead and click on this four hours okay yours may be um a daily time frame or whatever just change this click on it okay and go to the five minutes time frame or you can click on it again you see that it has changed to five minutes and change it to the 15 minutes time frame all right for scalping these are the time frames that i use either the 15 minutes or the five minutes time frame okay so here on a lower time frame the same thing is what you want to do whenever you see a sell signal and the blue line is crossing below the purple line then you go ahead and take that trade so you would have ignored this candle and then enter your trade in this next candle okay and if you follow that trade okay you see that this would have been a massive profit for you okay the same thing happens when you get a buy signal okay when you get a buy signal you see that the blue line is crossing over the purple line and you go ahead and take that trade okay so once you get a clear signal like this all right like this sell signal okay my entering will be in this candle or the next one all right so the next thing you want to do how do you get your entering okay your take profit and your stop loss what you need to do next is to go ahead and click on this plus icon on trading view okay so once you click on it the next thing you want to do is to click on drawings all right so if i click on drawings you'll see all of this okay you'll see all of this here but the next thing, what you do here is just to scroll down until you get to where it says predictions and measurements okay this prediction and measurement two you'll see long position two and then you'll see short position two when we get sell signals we use the short position two and then when we get long signals we use the long position two okay so um i'll go ahead and click on the short position two and then here we got a sell signal so if i click on the chart it is applied okay to the chart this is the position to this one you are looking at here okay this is our short position two all right so the red zone is our stop loss the green zone is our take profit and then the line in between is our entering price okay and that is represented by this red bar you're seeing here the gray bar is our entering the red bar is our stop loss and then the green bar here is our take profit okay so before we go into that the next thing i want to do let's say we waited for this particular candle to close after closing then we now enter the trade on this candle so what we need to do now is to move this okay you can click and hold it let's say this is our entering price okay so our stop loss will be in the previous high okay then our take profit will be one or 2.1 percent 
okay let's just say normally i go between 1.5 to 2.5 risk reward ratio okay the risk reward ratio is what you see here this is your risk reward ratio okay so if it is 1.9 it means that you're making 1.9 more of the money don't use don't ever use one is to one okay let it always be one is to five one is to six and and so on or two percent and above what this simply means if it is two percent it means that you are making two times the amount of money you are risking okay if it is 1.5 it means that you are making 1.5 more of the money you are risking if it is one is to one that means you are risking one percent and then you are you want to trade or make profit one percent and the rest. that's how you use this okay so don't always target very high price always target between once you are scalping okay once you are scalping with a lower time frame let your take profit always be between 1.5 okay for the risk reward ratio here okay let it always be 1.5 to 2 percent 1.5 to 2 percent okay so if i've targeted 1.5 this would have been a win trade as you can see here 1.6 1.7 is all a win trade okay and then you continue like that whenever you see an indicator even if i've target 1.6 okay this is a good entering for me right now okay you see here that we got a buy signal in this candle all right and this there is a crossover here so i can decide to enter with the market price currently here okay I can decide to enter with the market price so in this case if i go ahead and bring my long position to once again you know where click on the plus icon click on drawings and then scroll down until you get the measurement and prediction tool so this time around i'm going to use the long position too so i'll click on long position all right and then plot that into my um chart so now i'll move it around so my entry this time around the entry doesn't really matter okay I don't need to pay attention to the entry because i'm going to use market order all right so my stop loss will be in the previous swing low so here what i need to do is to move this by targeting 1.5 percent of the profit so one point or oh, is even more than that okay this is about 2.1 so which i believe that this will definitely go in, into profit so once i get this now that i have this okay what you want to pay attention to is this okay this is going to be our take profit okay this is going to be our entry okay the gray you are seeing here is going to be our entry and then this is going to be our stop loss okay if i come to binance what i can do is to go ahead and click on the calculator too okay if i come to features and then i'll go to this calculator that is your calculator go ahead and click on it let me show you what is possible here so we are going to calculate what we are going to risk and how much we are going to make okay remember it is a long position so select the long position too and then you select your leverage and normally trade between 1x leverage to 20x don't go above that except you are an expert here okay if it is for short you can use the short so we are going to calculate our profit and loss so all i need to do now is to slot in those entering price and the exit price here okay the entering price will come in here the exit price will come in here and then the amount of bitcoin we want to trade will come in here so i've selected 20x leverage the entering price will be what we have here on trading view so here um, on trading view our entering price will be around this um, range okay this 19,000 plus okay so we'll just go ahead and put 19,040 dollars and then our stop loss our exit price will be 19,149 so entering price is going to be 19,000 okay 40 dollars and then the exit price will be 19,149 okay um if we go ahead and trade let's say 0 0.2 btc okay 0 0.2 btc so if i put in all right so this is our entering price this is our exit price the take profit which is at the exit price and then we are trading 0 0.2 btc let's see how much this will cost us so i'll go ahead and click on calculate so if i click on calculate i it means that to open this position with the 20x leverage okay it is going to cost us this is the margin the margin is going to be 190 dollars 40 cent and then if it goes in our favor which is 11 percent return on equity it means that we are making 21 percent in this trade 
okay it means that we are making 21 percent in this trade so the higher the amount you put in here the higher the profit you are going to make okay the 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 percentage okay the roe will remain the same but the higher the amount the higher your margin then the higher the profit that is how this works okay then the lower the amount the lower your margin what it will cost you to open the trade and then the lower your profit okay another thing you should note is that the higher the leverage the lower the amount the margin okay the lower the margin and then the higher the profit you will make okay for instance if i decided to go with a 50x leverage okay um 50x leverage okay the same m trade price and then the same um 0.2 btc so this time around instead of costing us 190 it is costing us 76 and then the price is um 21 okay so it's costing us lower than what the 20s leverage would have cost us and then we are making the same 21. now if i wanted to increase the profit then i can increase this from 0.2 to 0.5 okay so if i click that you see that it's costing us the same 190 40 dollars okay 40 cent and then we are making this time around we're making 54 um dollars 50 cent in this trade all right this is just with a, a, a 1.2 percent or there about or two percent move within the market this would have made you this amount of money all right so i hope the video is helpful i hope you understand everything i've explained there if you don't if there are if you are stuck with anything you can use the comment section all right and i will see how i can provide answers for your questions and then you can equally join the telegram group to you know interact with others and ask your questions there that is all I have for you in this video and I will see you in the next video.